This is a quick fix tutorial where I'm focusing only on difficult sections in the piece, applying only those principles that don't require sound imagination skills and will quickly ease your playing, making technique more comfortable and fluent. These basic principles are wrist movement, elbow movement, intonation, arm weight, articulations, phrasing and time. If you've been playing this piece for quite a while, keep in mind that all these principles won't work at full potential, as all sensations might interfere with new ones. Yet they will ease your playing as much as possible in your current situation. This is just a basic fix to let you feel more comfortable while playing, and since we're not imagining sounds, we're not making any harmonies, dynamics or voice nuances in this tutorial. And feel free to leave your request in the comments section below. So now let's get started. Match the wrist movement with the known direction. Move gently without any tension. At the last stage of practicing, this movement will be remained in muscle sensations only and won't be visible to the eyes. This will keep your wrist tension free. And a missing fingering in the score before starting playing. While the wrist movement is matching the known direction, the elbow is moving towards the new position on a circle note. This will release tension in hands and improve speed and accuracy in leaps. Okay, so we're going to play with no tension in hand and not forcing any sound because we're not making any dynamics which you should do in any ways, even if you're not doing this tutorial, but basically you should separate the layers of dynamics, articulations, and um, because you're not ready yet. So first, just movements. Sing in between notes with a glissando and resistance. Keep the same sensation while singing out loud only notes. While playing, keep singing the same way internally. It is possible to sing the same way while playing fast passages. Internally sing with the energy of weight. 
This is how it sounds without weight versus with weight. Such singing will sustain transferring of weight while playing, bringing more freedom and power to your voice and hands. Okay, now I'm gonna play with intonation and weight and I'm gonna skip those accents and I'm gonna skip these accents anyways because even though they are written by Chopin, they are written for his students to show, probably, I'm not Chopin, probably to show them um, that the, their fourth or second finger are weak while playing here. So it's mostly for technique pur purpose, not really for musical, because uh, these accents come up by themselves if you just play it with phrasing and everything, so <laughs> you will see it later. Um, okay, so let's try. Phrasing is a structured intonation, breathing, where smaller blocks with more prominent sections are united into larger blocks with more prominent sections. Use intonation and weight in phrasing to make energetic crescendo towards more prominent sections and blocks. While practicing phrasing, take a little break, a breath after every block, and slow down towards the main interval in a motif, the main motif in a phrase, and the main phrase in a sentence. Let's play by, by motives. by phrases. I actually already feel that some turns are not really secure, so they 
are here. This fifth, when I go up, for some reason my second finger a little bit late. <laughs> so mm, I'm gonna, uh, with musical speech, better intonate this interval. Ability to feel a difference in singing different intervals will let us pre-feel through intonation the distance of every interval much more accurately. That helps mind and hands to faster prepare to the intervals. As I have said before many times, if we can't feel fast while playing, we're not ready to play fast. Feel the difference in sound while singing with intonation these intervals. With musical speech, better intonate this interval. And I think also down, my first finger is not ready to prepare. It's actually a very good institute for your first finger, for your second finger, and I think also for your fourth finger, because this and this is not really stable. Well, I don't feel stable at all while playing. So. I'm gonna intonate fifth down and second down better with musical speech. Okay. Five up for second finger, five down for first finger, second down for fourth finger. And I think also here, also fourth down. Highlights. Let's try one more time. Okay, so much better. Now let's go to time. Time and tempo mean more than just the speed of music, it's a part of the character of music. After choosing the pulsation, connect time to the musical image of the piece, and if the image of music is joyful, feel and describe the pulse not as just slow, but calm and peaceful, not just faster, but lively and exciting, not just fast, but energetic and bright. Feel time while playing always following a phrasing line to sustain the flow of playing. So I'm gonna pulsate here by every quarter note. Like this. So we're gonna start with a peaceful and chill time. Thank you. 
should be better. Let's go faster. Thank you. 